Hi guys, so today we're going on a double date to a museum. We're at the Broad. Um, what, what, hi. Hi, this is the date reveal. I am the date and we are doing it doubly with those people. These are the two people that we're double dating with. So I don't know if you guys know, but Adam and Tati actually had a kid. They adopted. So you're a big fan of museums, huh? <laughs> I am. What's your favorite museum that you've been to? Well, oh, actually, it's the one in Mexico. It's called... I forgot what it was called, but I went on one in Mexico on a solo Mexico trip, and it was my favorite. You went solo? I did go solo. All right, Mr. Adam, do you frequent museums? Do I frequent museums? Yeah. Not occasionally. How many museums have you been to in your life? About two, probably. Are you just here because of your girlfriend? Indeed. Do you have a message for your girlfriend when she watches this back later? Um, I love you a lot. Hey, what's your kid's name? <laughs> what's our kid's name? Cinny. Cinny! What do you think about this art piece? I think... It kind of reminds me of like downtown LA art. It, it gives me like... Scribble, scrabble, texture, crunch. Yes. What do you think about it? I'm going to be real with you guys. So these glasses, I'm a negative five prescription. These are a negative three, so I really can't see. Everything's blurry. It reminds me of like jeans that have cracks on them. So, so one thing that's really funny is I want a double date here, but we're with Tatiana right here, the little lamb that's right here. So we're with her uncle, and he came from Mexico, and her boyfriend Adam doesn't speak Spanish but her uncle right there he speaks Spanish so it's just like listening to them communicate is such uh -huh. a st look <laughs> yes what, what are y'all talking about uh, skimboarding injury I had one skimboard time. what the hell is skimboarding it's when you like take the board and you like throw it on the water and you oh, jump on it oh I forgot you're from a water city yeah. That was a heel flip. Thank you. Am I wrong if I think these look like really, really, really big tampons? You are kind of wrong because a tampon is more long. Have you ever seen a tampon? <laughs> do you see the Picasso inspiration? I kind of do because they're all like morphed weird. They're like humans, but they're like side length chained. Well, How much do you think these are worth? Do they have the price on there or no? Nah, like this is the type of museum you can't buy the art. Wait, guess the price museum edition? Bruh. Yes? Yeah, go here. Okay. Guess. I guess that these go for 50000 each. So this is a painting by Larry Pittman from 1952. I want to guess there's worth 150000 each. So right now we don't have the price, but I'm going to put them on the screen when I'm editing. And we're going to see if we're right or wrong. We're not going to get to get our reactions. But. Wait, I have to say something. I take it back. I should, have, I should have really understood the year. I thought this was contemporary art. Not going to lie, I really thought this was contemporary, so I kind of fucked up. My guess is probably wrong. And yeah, these might go for like half a million each, if we're really being honest. And also, I remember the Mexican museum name. It was called Musa, M-U-S-A. So now we see this Marikami art piece. Um, it's Marikami, so I guess this is maybe 750000 just off rip. I don't know what the character is. Looks like it could be in like an anime or like a video game, but I know it's just literally a Murakami painting. Y'all see when Murakami was like going crazy on Instagram? He was like posting Instagram like stories or reels where he's like, I hate my life. I'm gross. I'm disgusting. Y'all should not be fans of me. I don't know if y'all remember that, but it happened. What's your guess on the price? I said 750. 750. I actually didn't know that Murakami lore. I would love to get into that as well, but I would, I would honestly price this at about like... Like seven hundred thousand. What did you say? Seven fifty. Seven fifty. I'll give it. I'll, I'll stick to seven hundred thousand. But okay, 
what do you guys think he meant by like him saying he's disgusting and they shouldn't be fans of him like comment down below on what you think murakami allegations would be because i'm like if he posted it he's probably like let me let me get on this before anybody else gets on me and i feel like mm, some type of allegations what I'm like don't look there's Butts. Why did you cover my face? There's butts. There's girl butts. Okay, can you guys see it? I just flipped the camera. I don't know if you can see it on Wait, the camera. Wait, did the camera flip? But you can't, yeah, the camera flipped, but don't look. Don't look at other girl butts. I'm going to have to edit it out anyways. Oh, fine. Just look for the art of it all. This is my favorite one so far. you fucking kidding me. I really have something to say about these two paintings. They obviously give, like, supreme swag era tumblr and like not my particular aesthetic i've dabbled into the swag and whatnot i personally would not have a painting like i like this one better than that one but i wouldn't have it up at my house because not gonna lie i think it's a bit tacky but when i went up to read the description for this one um i obviously love the statement that says your body is a battleground um, and it says that she's addressed, Barbara Kruger, which is the artist, is addressing media and politics in their native tongue, which I could really appreciate. So sometimes you can't really judge art by its cover. I might look at it and be like, mm, it's a little bit tacky, but I do really like the message behind it. So art is a give or take. Can't wait to look into it. What do you think? These two give me like very keep calm and carry on, you know, like that that like what was that 2012 2014 something like that i, I think my fit makes me pretty incapable I I incomprehensible actually to talk about the art so i give this one like maybe your body is a battleground not gonna lie that's kind of deep because your body is a battleground you be having inner fights with yourself with your actual body how you look how you want people to perceive you how you want people to treat you this one gets a 10 out of 10. Let's see this one. This one says you are a very special person. And then it has a crown on it. Um, I'm trying to see the deeper meaning behind this one. And really like. Maybe it's because everyone is like royalty in their own ways. You know. You could be a king to your mother. To your father. To your girlfriend. To your spouse. To your dog. To your dog. You're a king. You're like. You're him. But the price. I guess this one is. 2 million and I want to guess that one's 4 million that's my guess on it but that's how we're running up the what, what are you doing? Here, King. You dropped your crown. C c can you say that again so I can insert that clip? yeah <laughs> here King you dropped your crown oh let me guess the price too guess the price <sighs> they are gigantic and I feel like this is obviously a very important artist because they're in the broad broad um, I'm gonna give it five mil and seven mil. Go big or go home. Yo, this room has lights. It looks like a big party show. I, I don't know if you guys could read this. Did you see the CPD? Shoot the first shot? No. Did the first shot you heard appear very close? Yes. Did you see CPT? Take a second shot? I seen a muzzle flash. Bro, that room was basically like a call between a, what's it called, the dispatch? And like some- A victim? Some victim between something. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> this, this is something I would have in my house. Maybe like, look, look, look. So my, my imagination, when I have a crib, I'm gonna give you the whole rundown. It's gonna be the big ass brown doors, gold little handles. Open it up, boom, you're in a crazy ass mansion. On the, on the right side, there's gonna be like a fountain with koi fish. Above the koi fish is gonna be this painting. And then when you go down, straight down, there's gonna be the two spiral staircases going up. But this painting is something I could see. 1961, bro, that's kind of crazy, 1961? Were my grandparents even born then? Maybe, huh? My grandparents were probably born. I don't know anything that happened after the year 2000. If I'm going to be real okay, with you. So I really like the mirror and the fact that it's placed next to the I'm sorry one. Not that they have any correlation, but I'm kind of like it's giving like you looking at yourself and just feeling sorry for all the f shit you did in the past. I, I'm sorry. Yeah, the fact that this Michael Jackson paint, like little statue 
is one of the most popular things here. It's kind of crazy. I'm not going to lie to you. You know how people be like hard watch when there's like a cringy video? There's like a hard perception. Why? I don't know. I'm like, I'm kind of, I don't know how I feel about it. It just like, like he just looks so creepy. Like it's a little scary to me. One thing that I think is crazy is that this statue was made in 1988. So Michael Jackson was alive when this was made. This was probably in his crib. Like, what kind of rich ass sh is this? Like, bro had a monkey. I want a monkey. Why not? You're nodding. You're going, no, no, no. At the other end of the camera, why, why can't I have a monkey? It's inhumane. Bro, I'm going to treat him with care. Hey, Sway Lee has a monkey. My point exact. What's wrong with Sway Lee? I don't got no tie. Oh, wait. They might demonetize me. Let's go find Tati and Adam, bro. They've been gone for the longest. What we have here is a Marikami beach towel. Guess the price of this towel, Tatiana. Oh, she's in another world. 150. What's your guess? 80. It's 95. I would have bought it for you guys if you got it right. It's okay. Look, I, I think I'm okay. Look at these. They always have these things fake as hell on AliExpress. I didn't know this is where you buy the real ones. Bro. This is a backpack? It's kind of really cute. I kind of love it. Tell them to rip up them fryers. I'm buying a backpack. Not going to lie. Look at this. No, no, no. I got to get a backpack. That concludes the museum day. They, they, they were kind of just side characters in it. Thank you, guys. Hello. I'm a side character. Can you say like, comment, subscribe? Like, comment, and subscribe. Listen to Tati. Bye. Can someone tell me why this bag is $500?